Hey y'all, so today I want to look again at Hasid and Agape. So, um, I want to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. We know this as the love chapter. Love is, love is, love is. Okay, but understanding that love is the force of Hasid in its fierceness towards us. I want to read 1 Corinthians 13 with Hasid, because that's what it is. In the Greek, it would have been agape, but I'm going to use it as Hasid just for um, a little bit of understanding and depth. So, sorry. If we go to um, 1 Corinthians 13, and we're going to start in verse 4. Hasid endures long and is patient and kind. Hasid never is envious nor boils over with jealousy. It is not boastful or vainglorious, does not display itself haughtily. Hasid is not conceited, arrogant and inflated with pride. Hasid is not rude, unmannerly, and does not act unbecoming. Hasid God's Hasid in us does not insist on its own rights or its own way, for it is not self-seeking. Hasid is not touchy or fretful or resentful. It takes no account of the evil done to it. It pays no attention to a suffered wrong. It does not rejoice at injustice and unrighteousness but rejoices when right and truth prevail. Hasid bears up under anything and everything that comes, is ever ready to believe the best of every person. It hopes, its hopes are fadeless under all circumstances and it endures everything without weakening. Can we just stop there for a moment? Love bears up under anything and everything that comes. Hasid in you, because now the Spirit of God lives on the inside of us. And the Spirit produces love. So the force of Hasid on the inside of us bears up under anything and everything everything that comes. In this world, you will have trials, tribulations, distresses, and frustrations. John 16, again. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Be confident, certain, and undaunted. I have conquered it for you, and I have deprived it of power to harm you. Love, Hasid, bears up it holds up under anything and everything that comes. Its, hope are, its hopes are fadeless under all circumstances, and it endures everything. It endures everything without weakening. Oh, praise the Lord. Hasid never fails. It never fades out or becomes obsolete or comes to an end. Praise the Lord. Isn't that just incredible? Absolutely incredible. Hasid. Hasid. Bears up under anything and everything that comes. And that's him to us. You know, he keeps... No records of our wrongs. I go back to Isaiah 54, which I think is the most beautiful depiction of um, Hasid. And remember, as you're reading your scripture, and this is everywhere throughout the Psalms. It is literally everywhere. Um, Hasid is translated loving kindness, tender mercy. Um, oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His 
kindness endures forever. His Hasid endures forever. This Hasid, this love, this overtaking loyal love, this committed love that is not weak but is fierce towards us um, or fierce for us, fierce in its pursuit of us. You remember that? That'll be key next week. But um, it's never ending. I went to Psalm instead of Isaiah. But Isaiah 54, 8, 9, and 10. In a moment of wrath, I hid my face for a moment, but with age enduring love and kindness, I have compassion and mercy on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. For this is like the days of Noah to me, as I swore that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I will not be angry or rebuke you. For though the mountains should depart and the hills be shaken or removed, yet my love and kindness, wait, yet my Hasid shall not depart from you. Neither shall my covenant of peace and completeness be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. But any place that you, I mean, you can go in Psalms, and I, I highly encourage you to do that. But you look in Psalms and see where it says loving kindness, tender mercy, and that is Hasid. I actually have that written in my Bible, every place it had um, loving kindness, tender mercy. And I wrote Hasi down so that um, it will just bring to my remembrance all of that, all of those things that Hasi means. And um, I just encourage you in that. But it is, it's all through the Psalm and you, you can, in your reading, it'll, it'll come out and, and you can see that and read that. And I pray that as you, um, as you do that Holy Spirit, um, Jesus, the wisdom of God, and then Holy Spirit, who is his presence here with us on the earth, will enlighten you, will bring revelation, begin to unfold and unpack that word. Um, Psalm 107, 1, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his Hasid endure forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has delivered from the hand of the adversary. So it is all over Psalm, and you'll be able to um, find that and read that. And I pray that the Lord has brought enlightenment this week about love and about Hasid and truly that cup. And we're going to, we're going to get into the last verse of Psalm 23 next week. And, um, I'm excited about what he's going to bring to us then. Love y'all. See you later. Bye.